Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on Rocket League but before subscribe to the channel, like the video and follow me on Instagram press on the start menu, go to settings, then go to gaming, press on game mode, on the game mode make sure you have this on, then press here on graphics, press on change default graphics settings, make sure you have this on, then go back to graphics, press here on browse, search where you have your Rocket League folder, double click on it, go to binaries, then win64, and this is the right file you need to find, first right click on it, press on properties, here you have to go to compatibility, check disable full screen optimization, then go here to change high DPI settings, check this box then press ok press apply ok then select it press here on add scroll down you will find it here press on options check high performance press on save and close the page go to the start menu then go to settings here you have to go to windows update press on install now Wait a few seconds until this is done, then press on check for updates to make sure you have everything up to date, close this page. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver, so if you have Nvidia go to this website, select here your specs from your video card. Then press here on search. Press on download. Download again. It will download here, but if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, press on download now. It will download here and from here you have to follow the steps to make sure you have your AMD video card up to date. I will cancel it because I don't have AMD, so I will just show you on Nvidia. When it is done, click on it, press on open. Minimize Chrome. This page will pop up, press OK. Wait a few seconds, check Nvidia graphics driver, press on agree and continue. Check express, press next. And now you have to wait from 2 to 5 minutes. When NVIDIA installer has finished, press here on close. Right click on the screen, press on show more options. Then press on NVIDIA control panel. If you have a NVIDIA video card and you don't have this NVIDIA control panel app, go to the Microsoft Store, type here NVIDIA control panel. Enter you can install it for free. Now go to adjust image settings with preview, check use my preference emphasizing. Drag this to the performance. Press apply, then go to manage 3D settings, on the image scaling, select on, check overlay indicator, press ok, select all this to off, then scroll down to low latency mode, select on, max frame rate, select off, open GL rendering GPU, select your video card, power management mode, select prefer maximum performance texture filtering quality select high performance threaded optimization select off and vertical sync select off press apply go to change resolution here normal on the native resolution i have 60 hertz but if i scroll down to pc select the same resolution you will see that i will get more hertz which is better press apply press yes Go to Adjust Desktop Color Settings, scroll down to Digital Vibrance, move this to 70%. Press Apply, close this page. Go to the search bar, type Choose, press on Choose a Power Plan, here you have to press on Create a Power Plan. Check High Performance, rename it, press Next, press on Create, and you will have it here, close this page. Go to this website, scroll all the way down, press on the first download button, close this page, and it will download here, when it is done, press on it, and press on open, minimize Chrome, double click on this, close this page, press next, check I accept the terms, press next, next again, and install. Make sure you have this checked, press on finish. This page will pop up, here you have to go to system power plan, 
select that we made before or you can just select high performance. Then on the core parking, select 100%. Frequency scaling, select 100%. Turbo boost, select 100%. And performance, select 100%. Then press here on apply. Press OK. Close this page. Go down here to the search bar, type task, press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup, here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts, then close the page. Go to the start menu, then go to settings. Go to gaming. Press on game mode. On the game mode make sure you have this on, then press here on graphics. Press on change default graphics settings, make sure you have this on, close this page. Go to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. This page will pop up. Check adjust for best performance. Then check smooth edges of screen fonts, and show thumbnails instead of icons, then press apply. Press ok. Go to the search bar, type optimize. Press on the fragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive, press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have, first press on analyze. And then optimize. Go to the search bar, type run, press enter, type here temp, press ok. Press continue. Select all these files and delete them. Then go here again, type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here, type Refetch. Press OK. Press Continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Open the game. Go down here to the settings, then go to Gameplay. On the split screen layout, select Vertical. Cross platform play, select On. Client send rate select Low. Server send rate, select low. Bandwidth limit, select low. Input buffer, select default. Show competitive division, select off. Show extra mode ranks, select off. Game stat display level, select main stats only. And tournament schedule region, select Europa or where you live. Then go up here to camera. On the camera preset, select default. Then go up here to Interface. On the Interface Scale, select 100%. Display Scale, select 100%. Nameplate Scale, select 100%. Nameplate Mode, select Default. Match Notifications, select Kickoffs Only. Uncheck all these boxes. Then on the Performance Graphs, select None. And Convert Platform Friends, select Off. Then go to Video. On the Resolution, Select 1920 by 1080. Display mode, select full screen. Vertical sync, select off, press apply. Then go to anti-aliasing, select off. Render quality, select performance. Render detail, select performance. Frames per second, select uncapped. Texture detail, select performance. World detail, select performance. Particle Detail, select Performance. Effect Intensity, select Low Intensity. High Quality Shaders, select On. Uncheck all these boxes. Then press here on Back. And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.